Aleppo, Arabic, Halab Allah LC, Halab, IPA, Halab is a city in Syria, serving as the capital of the Aleppo Governorate, the most populous Syrian governorate. With an official population of 4.6 million in 2010, Aleppo was the largest Syrian city before the Syrian Civil War, however, now Aleppo is probably the second largest city in Syria after the capital Damascus. Aleppo is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, it may have been inhabited since the 6th millennium BC. Excavations at Tel as Sada and Tel al-Ansari, just south of the old city of Aleppo, show that the area was occupied by Amorites since at least the latter part of the 3rd millennium BC. This is also when Aleppo is first mentioned in cuneiform tablets unearthed in Ebla and Mesopotamia, in which it is a part of the Amorite state of Yamhad, and is noted for its commercial and military proficiency. Such a long history is attributed to its strategic location as a trading center midway between the Mediterranean Sea and Mesopotamia. For centuries, Aleppo was the largest city in the Syrian region, and the Ottoman Empire's third largest after Constantinople and Cairo. The city's significance in history has been its location at one end of the Silk Road, which passed through Central Asia and Mesopotamia. When the Suez Canal was inaugurated in 1869, much trade was diverted to sea and Aleppo began its slow decline. At the fall of the Ottoman Empire after World War I, Aleppo lost its northern hinterland to modern Turkey, as well as the important Baghdad railway connecting it to Mosul. In the 1940s, it lost its main access to the sea, Antakya and Iskenderun, also to Turkey. Finally, the isolation of Syria in the past few decades further exacerbated the situation. This decline may have helped to preserve the old city of Aleppo, its medieval architecture and traditional heritage. It won the title of the Islamic Capital of Culture 2006 and has had a wave of successful restorations of its historic landmarks. The Battle of Aleppo 2012 occurred in the city during the Syrian Civil War, and many parts of the city suffered massive destruction. Affected parts of the city are currently undergoing reconstruction. Etymology Modern-day English speakers commonly refer to the city as Aleppo. It was known in antiquity as Kalp, Kaliban, and to the Greeks and Romans as Baroya. During the Crusades, and again during the French Mandate for Syria and the Lebanon of 1923-1946, the name Alep was used. Aleppo represents the Italianized version of this. The original ancient name, Halab, has survived as the current Arabic name of the city. It is of obscure origin. However, the term Halab might be derived from Hebrew, HLB lit. Milk related to a folktale of Abraham, who milked his sheep to feed the poor. Others have proposed that halab means iron or copper in Amorite languages, since the area served as a major source of these metals in antiquity. Another possibility is that halab means white, as this is the word for white in Aramaic, the local language which preceded regional Arabization. This may explain how halab became the Hebrew word for milk or vice versa, as well as offers a possible explanation for the modern-day Arabic nickname of the city, ash shaba Arabic, Alshba which means, the white colored mixed with black, and allegedly derives from the white marble found at Aleppo. Also Abraham is said to have camped on the Acropolis which, long before his time, served as the foundation of a fortress where the Aleppo citadel is standing now. He milked his grey cow there, hence Aleppo's name, Halab al-Shaba. From the 11th century it was common rabbinic usage to apply the term, Aram Zoba, to the area of Aleppo, and many Syrian Jews continue to do so. History
Topic: <laughs> Prehistory and Pre-Classical Era. Aleppo has scarcely been touched by archaeologists, since the modern city occupies its ancient site. The site has been occupied from around 5000 BC, as shown by excavations in Talat al Sauda. Aleppo appears in historical records as an important city much earlier than Damascus. The first record of Aleppo comes from the 3rd millennium BC, in the Ebla tablets when Aleppo was referred to as Ha Lam. Some historians, such as Wayne Horowitz, identify Aleppo with the capital of an independent kingdom closely related to Ebla, known as Army, although this identification is contested. The main temple of the storm god Hadid was located on the Citadel Hill in the center of the city, when the city was known as the City of Hadid. Naram Sin of Akkad mentioned his destruction of Ebla and Armani, Armanum, in the 23rd century BC, but the identification of Armani in the inscription of Naram Sim as Armi in the Eblate tablets is heavily debated, as there was no Akkadian annexation of Ebla or northern Syria. In the Old Babylonian and Old Assyrian Empire period, Aleppo's name appears in its original form as Halab Halba for the first time. Aleppo was the capital of the important Amorite dynasty of Yamhad. The Kingdom of Yamhad c. 1800-1525 BC, alternatively known as the Land of Halab, was one of the most powerful in the Near East during the reign of Yaram Lim I, who formed an alliance with Hammurabi of Babylonia against Shamshi Adad I of Assyria. Yamhad was devastated by the Hittites under Mersilis I in the 16th century BC. However, it soon resumed its leading role in the Levant when the Hittite power in the region waned due to internal strife, taking advantage of the power vacuum in the region. Parshatatar, king of the Hurrian kingdom of Mitanni, instigated a rebellion that ended the life of Yamhad, last king Elam Alima I in C. 1525 BC, subsequently, Parshatatar conquered Aleppo and the city found itself on the front line in the struggle between the Mitanni, the Hittites and Egypt. Nikmapa of Alalik who descends from the old Yamhadite kings controlled the city as a vassal to Mitanni and was attacked by Tudalia I of the Hittites as a retaliation for his alliance to Mitanni. Later the Hittite king Supiluliama I permanently defeated Mitanni and conquered Aleppo in the 14th century BC. Supiluliama installed his son Teleponus as king and a dynasty of Supiluliama descendants ruled Aleppo until the late Bronze Age collapse. Aleppo had cultic importance to the Hittites for being the center of worship of the storm god. This religious importance continued after the collapse of the Hittite Empire at the hands of the Assyrians and Phrygians in the 12th century BC, when Aleppo became part of the Middle Assyrian Empire, whose king renovated the Temple of Hadid, which was discovered in 2003. In 2003, a statue of a king named Tita bearing inscriptions in Luyan was discovered during excavations conducted by German archaeologist K. Kohlmeyer in the citadel of Aleppo. The new readings of Anatolian hieroglyphic signs proposed by the Hittitologists Elizabeth Rikin and Ilya Yakubovich were conducive to the conclusion that the country ruled by Tida was called Palistan. This country extended in the 11th-10th centuries BCE from the Amuk Valley in the west to Aleppo in the east down to Maharda and Shizar in the south. Due to the similarity between Palestine and Philistines, Hittitologist John David Hawkins, who translated the Aleppo inscriptions, hypothesizes a connection between the Syro Hittite Palestine and the Philistines, as do archaeologists Benjamin Sass and K. Kohlmeyer. Gershon Galil suggests that King David halted the Aramean's expansion into the land of Israel on account of his alliance with the southern Philistine kings, as well as with Toy, king of Hamath, who is identified with Tai Ta, too, king of Palestine, the northern sea peoples. At some point in the beginning of the first millennium BC, Aleppo became part of the Aramean state of Bitagusi, which had its capital at Arpad. 
Bitagusi along with Aleppo was conquered by the Assyrians in the 8th century BC and became part of the Neo-Assyrian Empire until the late 7th century BC, before passing through the hands of the Neo-Babylonians and the Achaemenid Persians. At the beginning of the 1st millennium BC, Aleppo became part of the Aramean state of Bitagusi, which had its capital at Arpad. Bid Agusi along with Aleppo and the entirety of the Levant was conquered by the Assyrians between the 10th and 8th centuries BC and became part of the Neo-Assyrian Empire 911 to 605 BC until the end of the 7th century BC, before passing briefly through the hands of the short-lived Neo-Babylonian Empire and then the Persian Achaemenid Empire between 546 BC and 332 BC. The region remained known as Aramea and Eber Nari throughout these periods. Classical antiquity Alexander the Great took over the city in 333 BC. Seleucus Nicator established a Hellenic settlement in the site between 301 and 286 BC. He called it Baroya, Baroya after Baroya in Macedon. Northern Syria was the center of gravity of the Hellenistic colonizing activity, and therefore of Hellenistic culture in the Seleucid Empire. As did other Hellenized cities of the Seleucid Kingdom, Baroya probably enjoyed a measure of local autonomy, with a local civic assembly or bull composed of free Hellenes. Baroya remained under Seleucid rule until 88 BC when Syria was occupied by the Armenian king Tigranes the Great and Baroya became part of the Kingdom of Armenia. After the Roman victory over Tigranes, Syria was handed over to Pompey in 64 BC, at which time they became a Roman province. Rome's presence afforded relative stability in northern Syria for over three centuries. Although the province was administered by a legate from Rome, Rome did not impose its administrative organization on the Greek-speaking ruling class or Aramaic-speaking populace. The Roman era saw an increase in the population of northern Syria that accelerated under the Byzantines well into the 5th century. In late antiquity, Baroya was the second largest Syrian city after Antioch, the capital of Syria and the third largest city in the Roman world. Archaeological evidence indicates a high population density for settlements between Antioch and Baroya right up to the 6th century. This agrarian landscape still holds the remains of large estate houses and churches such as the Church of St. Simeon Stylites. Baroya is mentioned in 1 MACC. 9-4. Ecclesiastical history The names of several bishops of the Episcopal See of Baroya, which was in the Roman province of Syria Prima, are recorded in extant documents. The first whose name survives is that of Saint Eustathius of Antioch, who, after being bishop of Baroya, was transferred to the important Metropolitan See of Antioch shortly before the 325 First Council of Nicaea. His successor in Baroya Cyrus was for his fidelity to the Nicene faith sent into exile by the Roman Emperor Constantius II. After the Council of Seleucia of 359, called by Constantius, Miletius of Antioch was transferred from Sebastia to Baroya but in the following year was promoted to Antioch. His successor in Baroya, Anatolius, was at a council in Antioch in 363. Under the persecuting Emperor Valens, the Bishop of Baroya was Theodotus, a friend of Basil the Great. He was succeeded by Acacius of Baroya, who governed the sea for over fifty years and was at the First Council of Constantinople in 381 and the Council of Ephesus in 431. In 438, he was succeeded by Theoctistus, who participated in the Council of Chalcedon in 451 and was a signatory of the joint letter that the bishops of the province of Syria Prima sent in 458 to Emperor Leo I the Thracian about the murder of Proterius of Alexandria. 
In 518 Emperor Justin I exiled the Bishop of Baroya Antoninus for rejecting the Council of Chalcedon. The last known bishop of the see is Megas, who was at a synod called by Patriarch Menas of Constantinople in 536. After the Arab conquest, Baroya ceased to be a residential bishopric, and is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. Very few physical remains have been found from the Roman and Byzantine periods in the citadel of Aleppo. The two mosques inside the citadel are known to be converted from churches originally built by the Byzantines. They were later converted into mosques by the Murdasids during the 11th century. <inaudible> <inaudible> medieval period The Sassanid Persians invaded and controlled Syria briefly in the early 7th century. Soon after Aleppo fell to Muslims under Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah in 637. In 944, it became the seat of an independent emirate under the Hamdanid prince Saif al-Dallah, and enjoyed a period of great prosperity, being home to the great poet al-Mutanabi and the philosopher and polymath al-Farabi. The city was sacked by a resurgent Byzantine Empire in 962, while Byzantine forces occupied it briefly from 974 to 987. The city and its emirate became an imperial vassal from 969 until the Byzantine-Seljuk Wars. The city was besieged by the Crusaders in 1124, but was not conquered. On 9 August 1138, a deadly earthquake ravaged the city and the surrounding area. Although estimates from this time are very unreliable, it is believed that 230,000 people died, making it the sixth deadliest earthquake in recorded history. In 1128 Aleppo became capital of the expanding Zenjid dynasty, which ultimately conquered Damascus in 1154. In 1183 Aleppo came under the control of Saladin and then the Ayyubid dynasty. When the Ayyubids were toppled in Egypt by the Mamluks, the Ayyubid emir of Aleppo and Nasir Yusuf became sultan of the remaining part of the Ayyubid empire. He ruled Syria from his seat in Aleppo until, on 24 January 1260, the city was taken by the Mongols under Hulagu in alliance with their vassals the Frank knights of the ruler of Antioch Bohemond V and his father-in-law the Armenian ruler Hetum I. The city was poorly defended by Tarantia, and as a result the walls fell after six days of siege, and the citadel fell four weeks later. The Muslim population was massacred and many Jews were also killed. The Christian population was spared. Tarantia was shown unusual respect by the Mongols, and was allowed to live because of his age and bravery. The city was then given to the former emir of Homs, al-Ushraf, and a Mongol garrison was established in the city. Some of the spoils were also given to Hethum I for his assistance in the attack. The Mongol army then continued on to Damascus, which surrendered, and the Mongols entered the city on 1 March 1260. In September 1260, the Egyptian Mamluks negotiated for a treaty with the Franks of Acre which allowed them to pass through Crusader territory unmolested, and engaged the Mongols at the Battle of Ain Jalut on 3 September 1260. The Mamluks won a decisive victory, killing the Mongols' Nestorian Christian general Kitbuka, and five days later they had retaken Damascus. Aleppo was recovered by the Muslims within a month, and a Mamluk governor placed to govern the city. Hulagu sent troops to try to recover Aleppo in December. They were able to massacre a large number of Muslims in retaliation for the death of Kitbuka, but after a fortnight could make no other progress and had to retreat. The Mamluk governor of the city became insubordinate to the central Mamluk authority in Cairo, and in autumn 1261 the Mamluk leader Baibar sent an army to reclaim the city. In October 1271, the Mongols took the city again, attacking with 10,000 horsemen from Anatolia, and defeating the Turkoman troops who were defending Aleppo. 
The Mamluk garrisons fled to Hama, until Baibars came north again with his main army, and the Mongols retreated. On 20 October 1280, the Mongols took the city again, pillaging the markets and burning the mosques. The Muslim inhabitants fled for Damascus, where the Mamluk leader Kalawan assembled his forces. When his army advanced, the Mongols again retreated, back across the Euphrates. In 1400, the Mongol Turkic leader Tamerlane captured the city again from the Mamluks. He massacred many of the inhabitants, ordering the building of a tower of 20,000 skulls outside the city. After the withdrawal of the Mongols, all the Muslim population returned to Aleppo. On the other hand, Christians who left the city during the Mongol invasion, were unable to resettle back in their own quarter in the Old Town, a fact that led them to establish a new neighborhood in 1420, built at the northern suburbs of Aleppo outside the city walls, to become known as al j Data Quarter, New District, Arabic, Jidit. Topic. Mongol Era. Aleppo became part of the Ottoman Empire in 1516, when the city had around 50,000 inhabitants, or 11,224 households according to an Ottoman census. It was the center of the Aleppo Islet. The rest of what later became Syria was part of either the Islets of Damascus, Tripoli, Sidon or Raqqa. Following the Ottoman provincial reform of 1864 Aleppo became the center of the newly constituted Vilayet of Aleppo in 1866. Thanks to its strategic geographic location on the trade route between Anatolia and the east, Aleppo rose to high prominence in the Ottoman era, at one point being second only to Constantinople in the empire. By the middle of the 16th century, Aleppo had displaced Damascus as the principal market for goods coming to the Mediterranean region from the east. This is reflected by the fact that the Levant Company of London, a joint trading company founded in 1581 to monopolize England's trade with the Ottoman Empire, never attempted to settle a factor, or agent, in Damascus, despite having had permission to do so. Aleppo served as the company's headquarters until the late 18th century. As a result of the economic development, many European states had opened consulates in Aleppo during the 16th and the 17th centuries, such as the Consulate of the Republic of Venice in 1548, the Consulate of France in 1562, the Consulate of England in 1583 and the Consulate of the Netherlands in 1613. However, the prosperity Aleppo experienced in the 16th and 17th century started to fade as silk production in Iran went into decline with the fall of the Safavid dynasty in 1722. By mid-century, caravans were no longer bringing silk from Iran to Aleppo, and local Syrian production was insufficient for Europe's demand. European merchants left Aleppo and the city went into an economic decline that was not reversed until the mid-19th century when locally produced cotton and tobacco became the principal commodities of interest to the Europeans. According to Halil Analchik, Aleppo underwent its worst catastrophe with the wholesale destruction of its villages by Bedouin raiding in the later years of the century, creating a long-running famine which by 1798 killed half of its inhabitants." The economy of Aleppo was badly hit by the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869. This, in addition to political instability that followed the implementation of significant reforms in 1841 by the central government, contributed to Aleppo's decline and the rise of Damascus as a serious economic and political competitor with Aleppo. References made to the city in 1606 in William Shakespeare's Macbeth. The witches torment the captain of the ship the Tiger, which was headed to Aleppo from England and endured a 567-day voyage before returning unsuccessfully to port. Reference is also made to the city in Shakespeare's Othello when Othello speaks his final words ACTV, E. 349F.
set you down this, and say besides that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and a turbaned Turk, beat a Venetian and traduced the state, I took by th throat the circumcised dog, and smote him. Thus. Arden Shakespeare Edition, 2004. The English naval chaplain Henry Tiange describes in his diary a visit he paid to the city in 1675, when there was a colony of Western European merchants living there. The city remained Ottoman until the empire's collapse, but was occasionally riven with internal feuds as well as attacks of cholera from 1823. Around 20-25% of the population died of plague in 1827. In 1850 a Muslim mob attacked Christian neighborhoods, tens of Christians were killed and several churches looted. Though this event has been portrayed as driven by pure sectarian principles, Bruce Masters argues that such analysis of this period of violence is too shallow and neglects the tensions that existed among the population due to the commercial favor afforded to certain Christian minorities by the Tanzimat reforms during this time which played a large role in creating antagonism between previously cooperative groups of Muslim and Christians in the eastern quarters of the city. Janissary rebels installed their own government when the Ottoman governor fled. The Ottomans took over the city weeks later killing some 5,000. By 1901, the city's population was around 110,000. At the end of World War I, the Treaty of Sevres made most of the province of Aleppo part of the newly established nation of Syria, while Cilicia was promised by France to become an Armenian state. However, Kemal Ataturk annexed most of the province of Aleppo as well as Cilicia to Turkey in his War of Independence. The Arab residents in the province as well as the Kurds supported the Turks in this war against the French, including the leader of the Hananu Revolt, Ibrahim Hananu, who directly coordinated with Ataturk and received weaponry from him. The outcome, however, was disastrous for Aleppo, because as per the Treaty of Lausanne, most of the province of Aleppo was made part of Turkey with the exception of Aleppo and Alexandretta, thus, Aleppo was cut from its northern satellites and from the Anatolian cities beyond on which Aleppo depended heavily in commerce. Moreover, the Sykes Picket Division of the Near East separated Aleppo from most of Mesopotamia, which also harmed the economy of Aleppo. The situation was exacerbated further in 1939 when Alexandretta was annexed to Turkey, thus depriving Aleppo of its main port of Iskenderun and leaving it in total isolation within Syria. <inaudible> <inaudible> French mandate The state of Aleppo was declared by the French general Henri Goro in September 1920 as part of a French scheme to make Syria easier to control by dividing it into several smaller states. France became more hostile to the idea of a united Syria after the Battle of Maysaloun. By separating Aleppo from Damascus, Goro wanted to capitalize on a traditional state of competition between the two cities and turn it into political division. The people in Aleppo were unhappy with the fact that Damascus was chosen as capital for the new nation of Syria. Goro sensed this sentiment and tried to manipulate it by making Aleppo the capital of a large and wealthier state with which it would have been hard for Damascus to compete. The state of Aleppo as drawn by France contained most of the fertile area of Syria, the fertile countryside of Aleppo in addition to the entire fertile basin of River Euphrates. The state also had access to sea via the autonomous Sanjak of Alexandretta. On the other hand, Damascus, which is basically an oasis on the fringes of the Syrian desert, had neither enough fertile land nor access to sea. Basically, Goro wanted to lure Aleppo by giving it control over most of the agricultural and mineral wealth of Syria so that it would never want to unite with Damascus again. The limited economic resources of the Syrian states made the option of completely independent states undesirable for France, because it threatened an opposite result, the states collapsing and being forced back into unity. 
This was why France proposed the idea of a Syrian federation that was realized in 1923. Initially, Goro envisioned the federation as encompassing all the states, even Lebanon. In the end however, only three states participated, Aleppo, Damascus, and the Alawite state. The capital of the federation was Aleppo at first, but it was relocated to Damascus. The president of the federation was Subi Barakat, an Antioch-born politician from Aleppo. The federation ended in December 1924, when France merged Aleppo and Damascus into a single Syrian state and separated the Alawite state again. This action came after the federation decided to merge the three federated states into one and to take steps encouraging Syria's financial independence, steps which France viewed as too much. When the Syrian revolt erupted in southern Syria in 1925, the French held in Aleppo state new elections that were supposed to lead to the breaking of the union with Damascus and restore the independence of Aleppo state. The French were driven to believe by pro-French Aleppan politicians that the people in Aleppo were supportive of such a scheme. After the new council was elected, however, it surprisingly voted to keep the union with Damascus. Syrian nationalists had waged a massive anti-secession public campaign that vigorously mobilized the people against the secession plan, thus leaving the pro-French politicians no choice but to support the union. The result was a big embarrassment for France, which wanted the secession of Aleppo to be a punitive measure against Damascus, which had participated in the Syrian revolt. This was the last time that independence was proposed for Aleppo. <laughs> Post-independence The period immediately following independence from France was marked by increasing rivalry between Aleppo and Damascus. Aleppo feverishly called for an immediate union between Syria and Hashemite Iraq, a demand that was firmly rejected by Damascus. Instead, Damascus favored a pro-Egyptian, pro-Saudi orientation and actively participated in the establishment of the Arab League in Alexandria in 1944, an organization that was seen by many Arab nationalists as a conspiracy aimed against the unification of the Fertile Crescent under the Hashemites. The increasing disagreements between Aleppo and Damascus led eventually to the split of the national bloc into two factions, the National Party Party, established in Damascus in 1946, and the People's Party, established in Aleppo in 1948 by Rushdie Kikya and Nazim Kudsi. An underlying cause of the disagreement, in addition to the union with Iraq, was Aleppo's intention to relocate the capital from Damascus. The issue of the capital became an open debate matter in 1950 when the Popular Party presented a constitution draft that called Damascus a temporary capital. The first coup d'état in modern Syrian history was carried out in March 1949 by an army officer from Aleppo, Husni Zaim. However, lured by the absolute power he enjoyed as a dictator, Zaim soon developed a pro-Egyptian, pro-Western orientation and abandoned the cause of union with Iraq. This incited a second coup only four months after his. The second coup, led by Sami Hinawa also from Aleppo, empowered the Popular Party and actively sought to realize the union with Iraq. The news of an imminent union with Iraq incited a third coup the same year. In December 1949, ADIB Shishakli led a coup preempting a union with Iraq that was about to be declared. Soon after Shishakli's domination ended in 1954, a union with Egypt under Gamal Abdul Nasser was implemented in 1958. The Union, however, collapsed only two years later when a junta of young Damascene officers carried out a separatist coup. Aleppo resisted the separatist coup, but eventually it had no choice but to recognize the new government. In March 1963, a coalition of Baathists, Nasserists, and Socialists launched a new coup whose declared objective was to restore the Union with Egypt. However, the new government only restored the flag of the Union. 
Soon thereafter disagreement between the Baathists and the Nasserists over the restoration of the Union became a crisis, and the Baathists ousted the Nasserists from power. The Nasserists, most of whom were from the Aleppan middle class, responded with an insurgency in Aleppo in July 1963. Again, the Ba'ath government tried to absorb the dissent of the Syrian middle class whose center of political activism was Aleppo by putting to the front Amin al-Hafiz, a Ba'athist military officer from Aleppo, President Hafez al-Assad, who came to power in 1970, relied on support from the business class in Damascus. This gave Damascus further advantage over Aleppo, and hence Damascus came to dominate the Syrian economy. The strict centralization of the Syrian state, the intentional direction of resources towards Damascus, and the hegemony Damascus enjoys over the Syrian economy made it increasingly hard for Aleppo to compete. Hence, Aleppo is no longer an economic or cultural capital of Syria as it once used to be. In 2006, Aleppo was named by the Islamic Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization as the capital of Islamic culture. <laughs> Syrian Civil War On 12 August 2011, some months after protests had begun elsewhere in Syria, anti-government protests were held in several districts of Aleppo, including the city's Sakhor district. At least two protesters had been shot dead by security forces during a demonstration in Sakhor with tens of thousands attendees. Two months later a pro-government demonstration was held in Sadala al-Yabiri Square. According to the New York Times, the 11th of October 2011 rally in support of President Bashar al-Assad was attended by large crowds, while state and local media claimed more than 1.5 million attended and that it was one of the largest rallies ever held in Syria. In early 2012, security forces began to be targeted with bombings. On 10 February 2012, suicide car bombs exploded outside two security compounds, the Military Intelligence Directorate's local headquarters, and a Security Preservation Forces barracks, reportedly killing 28 four civilians, 13 military personnel and 11 security personnel and wounding 235. On 18 March 2012, another car bomb blast in a residential neighborhood reportedly killed two security personnel and one female civilian, and wounded 30 residents. In late July 2012, the conflict reached Aleppo in earnest when fighters from the surrounding countryside mounted their first offensive there, apparently trying to capitalize on momentum gained during the Damascus assault. Since then, some of the civil wars most devastating bombing and fiercest fighting has taken place in Aleppo, often in residential areas. In the summer, autumn and winter of 2012 house-to-house -house fighting between armed opposition and government forces has continued, and as of spring 2013 the Syrian army has entrenched itself in the western part of Aleppo. Government forces were operating from a military base in the southern part of the city and the armed opposition in the eastern part with a no-man's land between them. One estimate of casualties by an international humanitarian organization is 13,500 killed 1,500 under 5 years of age, and 23,000 injured. Local police stations in the city were a focus of conflict. As a result of the severe battle, many sections in Al Madina Souk, part of the old city of Aleppo World Heritage Site, including parts of the Great Mosque of Aleppo and other medieval buildings in the ancient city, were destroyed and ruined or burnt in late summer 2012 as the armed groups of the Free Syrian Army and the Syrian Arab Army fought for control of the city. In March 2013, the Syrian Foreign Ministry claimed that some 1,000 factories in Aleppo have been plundered, and their stolen goods transferred to Turkey with the full knowledge and facilitation of the Turkish government.
A stalemate that had been in place for four years ended in July 2016, when Syrian government troops closed the last supply line of the armed opposition into Aleppo with the support of Russian airstrikes. In response, rebel forces launched unsuccessful counteroffensives in September and October that failed to break the siege. In November, government forces embarked on a decisive campaign. The rebels agreed to evacuate from their remaining areas in December 2016. The Syrian government victory was widely seen as a potential turning point in Syria's civil war. On the 22nd of December, the evacuation was completed with the Syrian army declaring it had taken complete control of the city. Red Cross later confirmed that the evacuation of all civilians and rebels was complete. When the battle ended, 500,000 refugees and internally displaced persons returned to Aleppo, and hundreds of factories returned to production as electricity supply greatly increased. The citadel of Aleppo is now undergoing major repairs. Many parts of the city that were affected are undergoing reconstruction. On 15 April 2017, a convoy of buses carrying evacuees was attacked by a suicide bomber in Aleppo, killing more than 126 people, including at least 80 children. The Aleppo Shopping Festival took place on 17 November 2017 to promote industry in the city. A YPG commander stated in February 2018 that Kurdish fighters had shifted to Afrin to help repel the Turkish assault. As a result, he said the pro-Syrian government forces had regained control of the districts previously controlled by them. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Aleppo lies about 120 kilometers 75 miles inland from the Mediterranean Sea on a plateau 380 meters 1250 feet above sea level 45 kilometers 28 miles east of the Syrian Turkish border checkpoint of Bab al Hawa The city is surrounded by farmlands from the north and the west widely cultivated with olive and pistachio trees to the east, Aleppo approaches the dry areas of the Syrian desert. The city was founded a few kilometers south of the location of the current Old City, on the right bank of Cake River which arises from the Aintab Plateau in the north and runs through Aleppo southward to the fertile country of Kinizreen. The Old City of Aleppo lies on the left bank of the Cake. It was surrounded by a circle of eight hills surrounding a prominent central hill on which the castle originally a temple dating to the second millennium BC was erected. The radius of the circle is about 10 kilometers 6.2 miles. The hills are Tel as Sada, Tel Asha, Tel as Set, Tel al Yasmin, Al Aqaba, Tel al Ansari, Yarukia, and Atal, Al Jalam, Basida. The old city was enclosed within an ancient wall that was last rebuilt by the Mamluks. The wall has since disappeared. It had nine gates and was surrounded by a broad deep ditch, occupying an area of more than 190 square kilometers, 73 square miles. Aleppo is one of the fastest growing cities in the Middle East. According to the new major plan of the city adopted in 2001, it is envisaged to increase the total area of Aleppo up to 420 square kilometers, 160 square miles by the end of 2015. Topic: <laughs> Climate Aleppo has a cool steppe climate, Köppen, BSK. The mountain series that run along the Mediterranean coast, namely the Alawiyan Mountains and the Nur Mountains, largely block the effects of the Mediterranean on climate rain shadow effect. The average high and low temperature throughout the year is 23.8 and 11.1 degrees Celsius 74.8 and 52.0 degrees Fahrenheit. The average precipitation is 329.4 mm in. More than 80% of precipitation occurs between October and March. It snows once or twice every winter. 
Average humidity is 55.7%. Architecture Aleppo is characterized with mixed architectural styles, having been ruled by, among others, Romans, Byzantines, Seljuks, Mamluks and Ottomans. Various types of 13th and 14th centuries constructions, such as caravanserais, caesarias, Quranic schools, hammams and religious buildings are found in the Old City. The quarters of al Jayd district are home to numerous 16th and 17th century houses of the Aleppan bourgeoisie, featuring stone engravings. Baroque architecture of the 19th and early 20th centuries is common in al Azizia district, including the Villa Rose. The new Shabaa district is a mixture of several styles, such as neo-classic, Norman, Oriental and even Chinese architecture. Since the old city is characterized with its large mansions, narrow alleys and covered souks, the modern city's architecture has replenished the town with wide roads and large squares such as the Sadala al-Yabiri Square, the Liberty Square, the President's Square and Sabah Barat Square. There is a relatively clear division between old and new Aleppo. The older portions of the city, with an approximate area of 160 hectares 400 acres were contained within a wall, 5 kilometers 3.1 miles in circuit with nine gates. The huge medieval castle in the city, known as the Citadel of Aleppo, occupies the center of the ancient part, in the shape of an acropolis. Being subjected to constant invasions and political instability, the inhabitants of the city were forced to build cell-like quarters and districts that were socially and economically independent. Each district was characterized by the religious and ethnic characteristics of its inhabitants. The mainly white stoned old town was built within the historical walls of the city, pierced by the nine historical gates, while the newer quarters of the old city were first built by the Christians during the early 15th century in the northern suburbs of the ancient city, after the Mongol withdrawal from Aleppo. The new quarter known as al Date is one of the finest examples of a cell-like quarter in Aleppo. After Tamerlane invaded Aleppo in 1400 and destroyed it, the Christians migrated out of the city walls and established their own cell in 1420, at the northwestern suburbs of the city, thus founding the quarters of al Jayd. The inhabitants of the new quarters were mainly brokers who facilitated trade between foreign traders and local merchants. As a result of the economic development, many other quarters were established outside the walls of the ancient city during the 15th and 16th centuries. Thus, the old city of Aleppo composed of the ancient city within the walls and the old cell-like quarters outside the walls has an approximate area of 350 hectares 1.4 square miles housing more than 120,000 residents. Demographics History According to the Aleppan historian Sheikh Kamel al-Ghazi the population of Aleppo was around 400,000 before the disastrous earthquake of 1822. Followed by cholera and plague attacks in 1823 and 1827 respectively, the population of the city declined to 110,000 by the end of the 19th century. In 1901, the total population of Aleppo was 108,143 of which Muslims were 76,329 70.58%, Christians, mostly Catholics 24,508 22.66%, and Jews 7,306 6.76%. Aleppo's large Christian population swelled with the influx of Armenian and Assyrian Christian refugees during the early 20th century and after the Armenian and Assyrian genocides of 1915. 
After the arrival of the first groups of Armenian refugees 1915 the population of Aleppo in 1922 counted 156,748 of which Muslims were 97,600 .6%, native Christians mostly Catholics 22,117 14.11%, Jews 6,580 4.20%, Europeans 2,652 1.70%, Armenian refugees 20,007 12.76%, and others 7,792 4.97%. However, even though a large majority of the Armenians arrived during the period, the city has had an Armenian community since at least the 1100s, when a considerable number of Armenian families and merchants from the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia settled in the city. The oldest Armenian church in the city is from 1491 as well, which indicates that they have been here long before. The second period of Armenian flow towards Aleppo marked with the withdrawal of the French troops from Cilicia in 1923. After the arrival of more than 40,000 Armenian refugees between 1923 and 1925, the population of the city reached up to 210,000 by the end of 1925, where Armenians formed more than 25% of it. According to the historical data presented by Al Ghazi, the vast majority of the Aleppan Christians were Catholics until the latter days of the Ottoman rule. The growth of the Oriental Orthodox Christians is related with the arrival of the Assyrian survivors from Cilicia and southern Turkey, while on the other hand, large numbers of Eastern Orthodox Christians from the Sanjak of Alexandretta arrived in Aleppo, after the annexation of the Sanjak in 1939 in favor of Turkey. In 1944, Aleppo's population was around 325,000, with 112,110 Christians among which Armenians have counted 60,200. Armenians formed more than half of the Christian community in Aleppo until 1947, when many groups of them left for Soviet Armenia within the frames of the Armenian repatriation process 1946 <laughs> Pre-Civil War status Aleppo was the most populous city in Syria, with a population of 2,132,100 as indicated in the latest official census in 2004 by the Syria Central Bureau of Statistics CBS. Its subdistrict Nahiya consisted of 23 localities with a collective population of 2,181,061 in 2004. According to the official estimate announced by the Aleppo City Council, the population of the city was 2,301,570 by the end of 2005. As a result of the Syrian civil war, however, the city eastern half's population under the control of the opposition had plummeted to an estimated 40,000 by 2015. Muslims More than 80% of Aleppo's inhabitants are Sunni Muslims. They are mainly Arabs, followed by Turkmens and Kurds. Other Muslim groups include small numbers of ethnic Circassians, Chechens, Albanians, Bosniaks, Greeks and Bulgarians. The northwestern districts of Aleppo, in particular the Sheikh Maksud district, are the Kurdish sections of the city. Since the start of the civil war in Syria, these districts of Aleppo are protected by Kurdish militias and are thus, the safest districts of Aleppo. Neither the central government forces or the rebel armies have challenged the Kurdish military nor encroached into those Kurdish districts. Many non-Kurds of Aleppo have fled into the safety of the Kurdish district for protection. Kurds constituted about 7-10% of the city population before the war. Topic. 
Christians Until the breakup of the Battle of Aleppo in 2012 within the frames of the Syrian Civil War, the city contained one of the largest Christian communities in the Middle East, with many Oriental Orthodox Christian congregations, mainly Armenians and Assyrians locally known as Syriacs. Historically, the city was the main center of French Catholic missionaries in Syria. The Christian population of Aleppo was slightly more than 250,000 before the civil war, representing about 12% of the total population of the city. However, as a consequence of the Syrian civil war, the Christian population of the city decreased to less than 100,000 as of the beginning of 2017, of whom around 30% are ethnic Armenians. A significant number of the Assyrians in Aleppo speak Aramaic, hailing from the city of Urfa in Turkey. The large community of Oriental Orthodox Christians belongs to the Armenian Apostolic and Syriac Orthodox churches. However, there is a significant presence of the Eastern Orthodox Church of Antioch as well. There is also a large number Eastern Catholic Christians in the city, including Melkite Greeks, Maronites, Chaldeans, Syrian Catholics and the followers of the Latin Rite. Evangelical Christians of different denominations are a minority in the city. Several districts of the city have a Christian and Armenian majority, such as the old Christian quarter of al j Dade. Around 50 churches operate in the city operated by the above-mentioned congregations. However, according to the deputy chairman of the Commission for UNESCO of the Russian Federation Alexander Zasakov, around 20 churches suffered great destruction during the battles in Aleppo, with the most notable being the National Evangelical Church, as well as the surrounding historic churches of al j Dade district. On December 25, 2016, following the government victory, Christmas was publicly celebrated in Aleppo for the first time in four years. <inaudible> <inaudible> Jews The city was home to a significant Jewish population from ancient times. The Great Synagogue, built in the 5th century, housed the Aleppo Codex. The Jews of Aleppo were known for their religious commitment, rabbinic leadership, and their liturgy, consisting of Pismanim and Bikashat. After the Spanish Inquisition, the city of Aleppo received many Sephardic Jewish immigrants, who eventually joined with the native Aleppo Jewish community. Peaceful relations existed between the Jews and surrounding population. In the early 20th century, the town's Jews lived mainly in al Jamilia, Bab al-Faraj and the neighborhoods around the Great Synagogue. Unrest in Palestine in the years preceding the establishment of Israel in 1948 resulted in growing hostility towards Jews living in Arab countries, culminating in the Jewish exodus from Arab lands. In December 1947, after the UN decided the partition of Palestine, an Arab mob attacked the Jewish quarter. Homes, schools and shops were badly damaged. Soon after, many of the town's remaining 6,000 Jews emigrated. In 1968, there were an estimated 700 Jews still remaining in Aleppo. The houses and other properties of the Jewish families which were not sold after the migration, remain uninhabited under the protection of the Syrian government. Most of these properties are in al Jamilia and Bab al-Faraj areas, and the neighborhoods around the central synagogue of Aleppo. In 1992, the Syrian government lifted the travel ban on its 4,500 Jewish citizens. Most traveled to the United States, where a sizable number of Syrian Jews currently live in Brooklyn, New York. The last Jews of Aleppo, the Halabi family, were evacuated from the city in October 2016 by the Free Syrian Army and now live in Israel. The Jews from Aleppo referred to their city as Aram T. Zova, Erm Zwb after the ancient Aramean city of Aram Zoba mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spoken languages. 
The Arabic dialect of Aleppo is a type of Syrian Arabic, which is of the North Levantine Arabic variety. Many of its vocabularies are derived from the Syriac language. The Kurdish language is the second most spoken language in the city, after Arabic. Kurds in Aleppo speak the Northern Kurdish, also known as Kermanji. Syrian Turkmen population of Aleppo speak the Kilis and Antep dialect of the Turkish language. Most Armenians speak the Western form of the Armenian language. Syriac language is rarely spoken by the Syriac community during daily life, but commonly used as the liturgical language of the Syriac Church. The members of the small Greco-Syrian community in Aleppo speak Arabic, but the Koine Greek dialect of the Greek language is used during church service by the Orthodox and Catholic Greek churches of Antioch. Topic: Culture. Topic: Art. Aleppo is considered one of the main centers of Arabic traditional and classic music with the Aleppan Mawashes, Qudud Halabiya and Makams religious, secular and folk poetic musical genres. Aleppans in general are fond of Arab classical music, the Tarab, and it is not a surprise that many artists from Aleppo are considered pioneers among the Arabs in classic and traditional music. The most prominent figures in this field are Sabri M. Dalal, Saba Fakhri, Shadi Jamil, Abed Azri and Noor M. Hanna. Many iconic artists of the Arab music like Sayed Darwish and Muhammad Abdul Wahab were visiting Aleppo to recognize the legacy of Aleppan art and learn from its cultural heritage. Aleppo is also known for its knowledgeable and cultivated listeners, known as Samia or connoisseur listeners. Aleppan musicians often claim that no major Arab artist achieved fame without first earning the approval of the Aleppan Samia. Aleppo hosts many music shows and festivals every year at the Citadel Amphitheater, such as the Syrian Song Festival, the Silk Road Festival, and Khan al Harir Festival. Al Adiyat Archaeological Society, founded in 1924 in Aleppo, is a cultural and social organization to preserve the tangible and intangible heritage of Aleppo and Syria in general. The society has branches in other governorates as well. Topic: <laughs> Museums. National Museum of Aleppo. Museum of the popular traditions known as the Aleppan House at Beit Akikbash in Al Jadaid. Aleppo Citadel Museum. Museum of Medicine and Science at Bamaristan Argan Al Kamili. Aleppo Memory Museum at Beit Ghazale in Al Jadaid. Zarahian Treasury of the Armenian Apostolic Church at the Old Armenian Church of the Holy Mother of God, Al Jadaida. Cuisine Aleppo is surrounded by olive, nut and fruit orchards, and its cuisine is the product of its fertile land and location along the Silk Road. The International Academy of Gastronomy in France awarded Aleppo its culinary prize in 2007. The city has a wide selection of different types of dishes, such as kebab, kibbeh, dolma, hummus, full halabi, zada halabi, etc. Full halabi is a typical Aleppan breakfast meal, fava bean soup with a splash of olive oil, lemon juice, garlic and Aleppo's red peppers. The zada of Aleppo thyme is a kind of oregano which is popular in the regional cuisines. The kibbeh is one of the favorite foods of the locals, and the Aleppans have created more than 17 types of kibbeh dishes, which is considered a form of art for them. These include kibbeh prepared with sumac k, b -b -e -s, mai, yogurt k, b -b -e -e quince k, b -b -e -e lemon juice k, b -b -e hamda, pomegranate sauce and cherry sauce. Other varieties include the 
disc kibba k b b e ross the plate kibba k b b e b sphia or k b b e bisenie and the ra kibba k b b e ne Kebab halabi influenced by Armenian and Turkish tastes has around 26 variants including, kebab prepared with cherry kebab karaz, eggplant kebab banjan, chili pepper with parsley and pine nut kebab kashkish, truffle kebab kamaya, tomato paste kebab hindi, cheese and mushroom kebab mawa, etc. The favorite drink is arak, which is usually consumed along with mees, alepin kebabs and kibas. Al Shark beer, a product of Aleppo, is also among the favorite drinks. Local wines and brandies are consumed as well. Aleppo is the origin of different types of sweets and pastries. The Aleppan sweets, such as Mabruma, Siwar S. Set, Baloria, etc., are characterized by containing high rates of ghee butter and sugar. Other sweets include Mimunia, Shuabiyat, Mushabak, Zilabiyya, Ghazal al Banat, etc. Most pastries contain the renowned Aleppan pistachios and other types of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Leisure and entertainment Until the breakup of the Battle of Aleppo in July 2012, the city was known for its vibrant nightlife. Several night clubs, bars and cabarets that were operating at the center of the city as well as at the northern suburbs. The historic quarter of al Jadaid was known for its pubs and boutique hotels, situated within ancient oriental mansions, providing special treats from the Aleppan flavor and cuisine, along with local music. Club Dialop opened in 1945, is a unique social club known for bridge games and other nightlife activities, located in a 19th century mansion in the Aziziya district of central Aleppo. The Aleppo Public Park opened in 1945. 49, is one of the largest planted parks in Syria, located near in the Aziziya district, where Cake River breaks through the Green Park. The Blue Lagoon Water Park heavily damaged during the battles was one of the favorite places among the locals, as it was the first water park in Syria. Aleppo's Shaba Mall one of the largest shopping centers in Syria was also among the most visited locations for the locals. It has received major damages during the civil war. Topic: Historical sites. Topic: Souks and Khans. The city's strategic trading position attracted settlers of all races and beliefs who wished to take advantage of the commercial roads that met in Aleppo from as far as China and Mesopotamia to the east, Europe to the west, and the Fertile Crescent and Egypt to the south. The largest covered souk market in the world is in Aleppo, with an approximate length of 13 kilometers (8.1 miles). Al Madina Souk, as it is locally known, is an active trade center for imported luxury goods such as raw silk from Iran, spices and dyes from India, and coffee from Damascus. Souk Al Madina is also home to local products such as wool, agricultural products, and soap. Most of the souks date back to the 14th century and are named after various professions and crafts, hence the wool souk, the copper souk, and so on. Aside from trading, the souk accommodated the traders and their goods in khans and scattered in the souk. Other types of small market places were called kaysirias. Kaysirias are smaller than khans in their sizes and functioned as workshops for craftsmen. Most of the khans took their names after their location in the souk and function, and are characterized by their facades, entrances and fortified wooden doors. <laughs> Gates of Aleppo and other historic buildings The old part of the city is surrounded with 5 km long 3.1 miles, thick walls, pierced by the nine historical gates many of them are well preserved of the old town. These are, clockwise from the northeast of the citadel, 
Bab al Hadid, Bab al Amar, Bab al Nairab, Bab al Makam, Bab Kinizreen, Bab Antakiyah, Bab Jainan, Bab al Faraj, and Bab al Nasser. The most significant historic buildings of the ancient city include The Citadel, a large fortress built atop a huge, partially artificial mound rising 50 meters 160 feet above the city, dates back to the 1st millennium BC. Recent excavations unearthed a temple and 25 statues dating back to the 1st millennium BC. Many of the current structures date from the 13th century. The citadel had been extensively damaged by earthquakes, notably in 1822. Al Shabani Building, Al Halawiya Madrasa, Al Mukadamiya Madrasa, Al Zahiriya Madrasa, Al Sultaniya Madrasa, Al Firdaz Madrasa, Bamaristan Argan Al Kamili, Beit Junblat, Bab Al Faraj Clock Tower, etc. The following are among the important historic mansions of Al J Dade Christian Quarter. Beit Wakal, an Aleppan mansion built in 1603, with unique wooden decorations. One of its decorations was taken to Berlin and exhibited in Pergamon Museum, known as the Aleppo Room. Beit Akikbosh, an old Aleppan house built in 1757. The building is home to the Popular Traditions Museum since 1975, showing fine decorations of the Aleppan art. Beit Ghazaleh, an old 17th-century mansion characterized with fine decorations, carved by the Armenian sculptor Kachatur Bali in 1691. It was used as an Armenian elementary school during the 20th century. <laughs> Places of worship Great Mosque of Aleppo Jamie Bani Omaya al-Kabir, founded c. 715 by Umayyad Caliph Walid I and most likely completed by his successor Sulayman. The building contains a tomb associated with Zachary, father of John the Baptist. Construction of the present structure for Nur al-Din commenced in 1158. However, it was damaged during the Mongol invasion of 1260, and was rebuilt. The 45-meter-high tower described as the principal monument of medieval Syria was erected in 1090-1092 under the first Seljuk Sultan, Tudish I. It had four facades with different styles. The tower was completely destroyed during the Syrian civil war in March 2013 reported on 24 March 2013. Al-Nukta Mosque, Mosque of the Drop of Blood, a Shia mosque, which contains a stone said to be marked by a drop of Hussein's blood. The site is believed to have previously been a monastery, which was converted into a mosque in 944. Al Shuabia Mosque, Al Kaikan Mosque, Mamandar Mosque, Altan Boga Mosque, Al Sahibia Mosque, Basida Mosque, Al Tawashi Mosque, Al Otrush Mosque, Al Safahaya Mosque, Kusruwiya Mosque, Al Adaliya Mosque, Baramaya Mosque, etc. Churches of Al J Dade Quarter, the Forty Martyrs Armenian Apostolic Cathedral, the Dormition of Our Lady Greek Orthodox Church, Mar Asiya Al Hakim Syrian Catholic Church, the Maronite Cathedral of Saint Elijah, the Armenian Catholic Cathedral of Our Mother of Reliefs, and the Melkite Greek Catholic Cathedral of Virgin Mary. Central Synagogue of Aleppo or Al Bandera Synagogue, completed as early as the 9th century by the efforts of the Jewish community. The synagogue was ruined several times until 1428 when it was restored. Recently, the building was renovated by the efforts of Aleppan Jewish migrants in U.S. Hamams. <laughs> Aleppo was home to 177 hammams during the medieval period until the Mongol invasion, when many of the prominent structures of the city were destroyed. Before the Civil War, 18 hammams were operating in the old city, including Hammam al-Nahasin built during the 12th century near Khan al-Nahasin. 
Hammam al-Sultan built in 1211 by Az-Zahir Ghazi. Hammam al-Bayada of the Mamluk era built in 1450. Hammam Yalbwa built in 1491 by the Emir of Aleppo Saif ad-Din Yalbwa al-Nasiri. Hammam al-Jahari, Hammam Azdamir, Hammam Baram Pasha, Hammam Bab al-Amar, etc. Topic: Nearby attractions and the dead cities. Aleppo's western suburbs are home to a group of historical sites and villages which are commonly known as the dead cities. Around 700 abandoned settlements in the northwestern parts of Syria before the 5th century contain remains of Christian Byzantine architecture. Many hundreds of those settlements are in Mount Simeon Jabal Saman and Jabal Halakha regions at the western suburbs of Aleppo, within the range of limestone massif. Dead cities were inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2011, under the name of Ancient Villages of Northern Syria. The most notable dead cities and archaeological sites in Mount Simeon and Mount Kurd near Aleppo include, Kaloda Castle and churches northwest of Aleppo, Karab Shams Byzantine Basilica of the 4th century, the half-ruined Roman Basilica in Fafferton village dating back to 372 AD, the old Byzantine settlement of Sorkanya village at the northwest of Aleppo, the 4th century Basilica of Sinher settlement, the Mushabak Basilica dating back to the second half of the 5th century, the 9th century BC Assyrian settlement of Kafr Nabo, Brad village and the St. Julianus Maronite Monastery 399-402 AD where the shrine of St. Maron is located, the 5th century Kamar settlement of the Roman and Byzantine eras, the Church of St. Simeon Stylites of the 5th century, the Syro-Hittite Ain Dara Temple of the Iron Age dating back to the 10th and 8th centuries BC, the ancient city of Cyrus with the old Roman amphitheater and two historic bridges, etc. Transportation Buses and minibuses The city of Aleppo is served by a public transport network of buses and minibuses. New modern buses are used to connect the city with Damascus and the other Syrian cities to the east and the south of Aleppo. Railway <inaudible> 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 Aleppo was one of the major stations of Syria that has been connected with the Baghdad Railway in 1912, within the Ottoman Empire. The connections to Turkey and onwards to Ankara still exist today, with a twice-weekly train from Damascus. It is perhaps for this historical reason that Aleppo is the headquarters of Syria National Railway Network, Chemens de Fer Syrines. As the railway is relatively slow, much of the passenger traffic to the port of Latakia had moved to road-based air-conditioned coaches. But this has reversed in recent years with the 2005 introduction of South Korean-built DMUs providing a regular bi-hourly express service to both Latakia and Damascus, which miss intermediate stations. However, after the break out of the civil war in 2011, the Syrian railway network has suffered major damage and is currently out of use. The opening scene in Agatha Christie's murder on the Orient Express takes place on the railway station in Aleppo. It was 5 o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. Alongside the platform at Aleppo stood the train grandly designated in railway guides as the Taurus Express. Topic. Airport Aleppo International Airport IATA, ALP, ICAO, OSAP, is the international airport serving the city. The airport serves as a secondary hub for Syrian Arab Airlines. The history of the airport dates back to the beginning of the 20th century. 
It was upgraded and developed in the years to 1999 when the new current terminal was opened. The airport was closed since the beginning of 2013 as a result of the military operations in the area. However, following the Syrian government's recapture of eastern Aleppo during the Battle of Aleppo, an airplane conducted its first flight from the airport in four years. Topic. Economy Topic. Trade and industry The main role of the city was as a trading place throughout the history, as it sat at the crossroads of two trade routes and mediated the trade from India, the Tigris and Euphrates regions and the route coming from Damascus in the south, which traced the base of the mountains rather than the rugged seacoast. Although trade was often directed away from the city for political reasons, it continued to thrive until the Europeans began to use the Cape route to India and later to utilize the route through Egypt to the Red Sea. The commercial traditions in Aleppo have deep roots in the history. The Aleppo Chamber of Commerce founded in 1885, is one of the oldest chambers in the Middle East and the Arab world. According to many historians, Aleppo was the most developed commercial and industrial city in the Ottoman Empire after Constantinople and Cairo. As the largest urban area in pre-Civil War Syria, Aleppo was considered the capital of Syrian industry. The economy of the city was mainly driven by textiles, chemicals, pharmaceutics, agro processing industries, electrical commodities, alcoholic beverages, engineering, and tourism. It occupied a dominant position in the country's manufacturing output, with a share of more than 50% of manufacturing employment, and an even greater export share, possessing the most developed commercial and industrial plants in Syria. Aleppo is a major center for manufacturing precious metals and stones. The annual amount of the processed gold produced in Aleppo is around 8.5 tons, making up to 40% of the entire manufactured gold in Syria. The industrial city of Aleppo in Sheikh Najjar district is one of the largest in Syria and the region. Occupying an area of 4,412 hectares 10,900 acres in the northeastern suburbs of Aleppo, the total investments in the city counted more than US$3.4 billion during 2010. Still under development, it is envisaged to open hotels, exhibition centers and other facilities within the industrial city. The old traditional crafts are well preserved in the old part of the city. The famous laurel soap of Aleppo is considered to be the world's first hard soap. Topic: Construction. In the 2000s, Aleppo was one of the fastest growing cities in Syria and the Middle East. Many villagers and inhabitants of other Syrian districts are migrating to Aleppo in an effort to find better job opportunities, a fact that always increases population pressure, with a growing demand for new residential capacity. New districts and residential communities have been built in the suburbs of Aleppo, many of them were still under construction as of 2010. Two major construction projects are scheduled in Aleppo, the Old City Revival project and the reopening of the stream bed of Cake River. The Old City Revival project completed its first phase by the end of 2008, and the second phase started in early 2010. The purpose of the project is the preservation of the Old City of Aleppo with its souks and cons, and restoration of the narrow alleys of the Old City and the roads around the citadel. The restoration of Cake River is directed towards the revival of the flow of the river, demolishing both the artificial cover of the stream bed and the reinforcement of the stream banks along the river in the city center. The flow of the river was blocked during the 1960s by the Turks, turning the river into a tiny sewage channel, something that led the authorities to cover the stream during the 1970s. 
In 2006 the flow of pure water was restored through the efforts of the Syrian government, granting a new life to the Kuwait River. Like other major Syrian cities, Aleppo is suffering from the dispersal of informal settlements. Almost half of its population, around 1.2 million, is estimated to live in 22 informal settlements of different types. Topic Education As the main economic center of Syria, Aleppo has a large number of educational institutions. According to the governor of Aleppo Hussein Diab, there are around 450,000 students attending 913 schools in the city, as of September 2017. In addition to the University of Aleppo, there are state colleges and private universities which attract large numbers of students from other regions of Syria and the Arab countries. The number of the students in Aleppo University is more than 60,000. The university has 18 faculties and 8 technical colleges in the city of Aleppo. Currently, there are two private universities operating in the city, Al-Shaba University and Mamoun University for Science and Technology Branches of the State Conservatory and the Fine Arts School are also operating in the city. Aleppo is home to several Christian and Armenian private schools as well as two international schools, International School of Aleppo and Lycée Francais d'Alep. Sport The city of Aleppo is considered an important center of team sports with football being the most popular in the city. The five major sporting clubs of the city are al Ittihad SC, al Hariya SC, al Yarmouk SC, Jalai SC and Arub SC. Many other sport clubs are located in several districts of the city including al Harifayan SC, Shorta Aleppo SC, Amal Aleppo SC, Nairab SC, al Shabai SC, al Kuala SC and Aleppo Railways SC. Basketball is also played in the city. All of the five Aleppan major sport clubs participate in the men's and women's top division of the Syrian Basketball League, in which both Jalai SC and al Ittihad SC consecutively dominated winning the league from 1956 to 1993. Other sports being practiced by the major clubs in the city include tennis, handball, volleyball, table tennis and swimming. With a capacity of 53,200 seats, the Aleppo International Stadium is the largest sports venue in Syria. Other major sport venues in the city include the 7th of April Stadium, Al Assad Sports Arena, Basel Al Assad Swimming Complex, and Al Hamadaniya Olympic Swimming and Diving Complex. On January 29, 2017, Aleppo hosted the first sports event since 2012, when the local football rivals al Ittihad SC and al Hariya SC played at the Riyadh al Shabaab Stadium, within the frames of the 2016 17 Syrian Premier League. Municipality and international relations The city of Aleppo is the capital of Aleppo Governorate and the center of Mount Simeon District. Aleppo City Council is the governing body of the city. The first municipality council was formed in 1868. However, the governor being appointed directly by the President of the Republic, has a supreme authority over the city and the entire governorate. Subdivisions Districts in Aleppo could be sorted in four categories Old quarters inside the walls of the ancient city Old quarters outside the walls of the ancient city Modern neighborhoods, including a newly developed area called the New Aleppo Informal settlements Topic. 
Integrated Urban Development in Aleppo The Integrated Urban Development in Aleppo UDP is a joint program between the German Development Cooperation GTZ and the municipality of Aleppo. The program promotes capacities for sustainable urban management and development at the national and municipal level. The program has three fields of work. Aleppo City Development Strategy CDs, promoting support structures for the municipality, including capacity building, networking, and developing municipal strength in the National Development Dialogue. Informal Settlements is, includes strategy and management development of informal settlements. The project for the rehabilitation of the Old City of Aleppo OCA, includes further support to the rehabilitation of the Old City, as well as to a long-term oriented city development strategy. The UDP cooperates closely with other interventions in the sector, namely the EU-supported Municipal Administration Modernization Program. It is planned to operate from 2007 to 2016. Topic. Preservation of the ancient city As an ancient trading center, Aleppo's impressive souks, khans, hammams, madrasas, mosques and churches are all in need of more care and preservation work. After World War II, the city was significantly redesigned. In 1954, French architect Andre Gutton had a number of wide new roads cut through the city to allow easier passage for modern traffic. Between 1954 and 1983 many buildings in the old city were demolished to allow for the construction of modern apartment blocks, particularly in the northwestern areas Bab al-Faraj and Bab al-Jinan. As awareness for the need to preserve this unique cultural heritage increased, Gutton's master plan was finally abandoned in 1979 to be replaced with a new plan presented by the Swiss expert and urban designer Stefano Bianca, which adopted the idea of preserving the traditional architectural style of ancient Aleppo, paving the way for UNESCO to declare the old city of Aleppo as a World Heritage Site in 1986. Several international institutions have joined efforts with local authorities and the Aleppo Archaeological Society, to rehabilitate the old city by accommodating contemporary life while preserving the old one. The Governorate and the municipality are implementing serious programs directed towards the enhancement of the ancient city and J Data Quarter. The German Technical Cooperation GTZ and Aga Khan Foundation within the frames of Aga Khan Historic Cities Program have a great contribution in the preservation process of the old city. <laughs> Twin towns, sister cities Currently, Aleppo has three sister cities. Lyon, France since 18 October 2000. Gaziantep, Turkey since 13 November 2005. Brest, Belarus since 28 January 2010. Notable natives See also Pinus holopensis Talipa alepensis Notes <laughs>